But I'm gonna bring up your next comic. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he actually drove us up. He's a really funny guy. I've worked with him a lot in Vegas. Give it up for Jim Waters. chest is going to talk to me. <laughs> I'm dealing with a munchkin. Yes. Yes. Yeah, see what it's like to work with a gnome? We got him out of a yard in Las Vegas. You know, just move this whole wacky, rickety thing, you know, to cuss and bustle. All right, guys, my name is Jim Waters. I'm going to apologize to you right off the bat, because I'm an Irish German Polak. It's the truth. Irishman's always getting in a fight. German's too stubborn to get out. And Polak's too stupid to know he got beat. Thus, I will continue on no matter what. I am relatively recently divorced. I was married for 20 years. Those of you who are married, the women will go, aw. The guys will go, shit. How did he get out so early? Okay, I'll tell you what. I've learned some things since I've been divorced. Single life has uh, taught me some things. For one thing, my ex-wife came up to me. I was picking up the mail one day. She comes up and she hands it to me and she says to me, you know what I am? I said, what's that? I mean, I was going to say bitch, but okay, what? And she goes, I'm a cougar. She says, you know what that makes you? I said, yeah, free. She came up, uh, no, I won't go, I won't go there, that's okay. Um, being a single guy, I've had to learn a lot of new traits and skills lately. The other day, I uh, fixed myself a meal of refried beans, which it seems like I, I live on quite often. It keeps very slimming, don't you think? And you do that? And uh, anyway, I got up in the middle of the night, and uh, well, I was playing PlayStation, and you know, Las Vegas is full of static electricity and stuff like this, so I got up, and uh, I have a little apartment, so... You know, being a guy and by myself, I decided to crank the Harley. A little methane release. Okay? Yeah, I mean, it happens. So I came up to turn off the PlayStation and a spark went from the c c switch to my finger. And little did I realize, I was standing in a cloud of methane. <laughs> and it follows the source. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I look like a dog in heat, you know, dragging my ass along the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Blew up my PlayStation, lit my carpet on fire, peanut shells didn't help. Destroyed four smoke detectors trying to keep it quiet so the manager would know. It was tough. I can't wait to move out of that place. Biggest thing was I blew up my PlayStation. The boys over here, I was talking to them earlier. Uh, Mr. Hatman, you're Robert? Danny, forgive me. Yes, Danny says he's got a one-word pickup line. Hello. Girls, look at him. Danny, say hello. I don't see you getting laid tonight, Danny. I actually have a three-word pickup line that works for every woman I've ever met. It's called Irish Carbon. See, the single guys are like, oh, I want to hear this. The married guys are like, what's it going to do any good? Irish car bomb. You can, you, an Irish car bomb is half a pint of Guinness Stout, a shot of Jameson's Irish whiskey, and a shot of Bailey's Irish. You drop it in, it is like a chocolate milkshake. You give a girl two of them, she'll forget where she put her legs. And if you're lucky, they're wrapped around you. <laughs> you give her four of them, you're holding her hair out of the toilet, but if you do it just right, that ain't so bad either. <laughs> It's called pre-planning, boys. Pre-plan. <laughs> Danny's over there taking notes. Can you give him another cocktail napkin? <laughs> I'm going to try that tonight. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I like to wear a Hawaiian shirt because I don't do laundry often, and I'm a pig when I eat. I got the, you know, I got the new uh, cookbook, A Fistful of Meatloaf, <laughs> and other bachelor desserts. I just found out you can cook a hamburger on a fork. You just gotta turn it off. And... But anyway, I uh, I wear a Hawaiian shirt for the slimming look it looks. Doesn't it look good? 
It also hides everything I've eaten. I've had three Mexican meals in this shirt. You can't find it. And best of all, all chicks know I am single. Because there ain't no woman let me walk out looking like this. <laughs> Uh, she's, she's like, yeah, I'd never let my husband walk out like that. <laughs> now, there's a girl I promised I would sing to here. Shaylee, are you here? Yeah. Shaylee, baby. Sherry, baby. Shaylee, I want to feel my pecker in you. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, huh? That's just the truth. I just promised her I'd sing. I didn't say what. I tell you what. Now I'm scared of Mormon girls. I heard they that uh, I am. I am because you know what I heard. Well, once you go and have sex with them, they got like a little locking mechanism, and they're walking around for the next time, just facing her for the next couple days until you say, "Okay, I'll marry you." <laughs> what do you got, snapping turtle in there, honey? Jesus Christ! Chicks having sex with me, it's always interesting. Usually we roll each other in the, in the flower and just put the wet spots together. <laughs> oh, you don't think so, huh? <laughs> Years ago, I decided uh, the gray, the snow on the roof, you know, was hindering my dating process, so I dyed it one time. I looked like the fat Elvis with the dark hair. It was so dark, it looked like a black hole. It used to bend light rays around me, so then I looked at this very slimming effect because the light was bent around me. I looked very skinny then. Didn't work very good either then. Yeah. Personally, I think the ultimate dating drink is Guinness Stout. The reason I say that is because one, the wonderful thing about Guinness Stout is, is that Guinness Stout has low calories, only 100 calories. It has a lot of alcohol, always good. I can't get laid if a chick's sober. The <laughs> best thing about Guinness Stout is about 2 o'clock in the morning, it gives you gas, you just fluff the covers a little bit, you don't even have to buy her breakfast in the morning. Get the hell out. <laughs> Quick, honey, we're going to play covered, covered Wagon. There's Indians there. Get under the covers. <laughs> I'll get out the cannon. Let me fire another crown. <laughs> I'm trying to save you, honey. Honestly, it's because I love you. Being by myself, I get bored a lot, but I love telemarketers. See, he, I haven't even told a joke yet. He's loving it. Somebody get, somebody call, get him from the laugh track machine. All right. He relates to me. He likes me? He relates to me? You do that to your wife, don't you? And you're still married, huh? Which wife did you bring? The one you didn't do that to? He's like, he's like, wait till I get her home tonight. <laughs> I've been having beer and burritos. <laughs> That's right. Your feet's gonna be on fire tonight, honey. I understand. I understand. That's okay. That's okay. He's wiping his eyes like, oh shit, yeah, just let me right now. <laughs> just falling up through my shirt. Oh, here, let me open it up and let everybody enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember what I was at. What was I, where was I just telling you about? Oh, uh, crap, I don't remember. What's that? One person. You love them. Telemarketers. Telemarketers. Thank you. You see, part of that Polak affects my hearing, too. Telemarketers, whenever they call and they say, you know, I always answer the phone the same way. Good, good afternoon, Jim Waters. Good evening, Jim Waters. And when I say, is Jim Waters there? I'm like, telemarketer. Fair game, my God. What you want? <laughs> Is this Mr. Waters? I'm his houseboy, Hudson. What you want? <laughs> uh, we'd like to talk to Mr. Waters. Hang on, I tell him, okay? Mr. Waters, someone want to talk to you. What do they want? What you want? See, I told you already. What you want? You don't speak English very good. <laughs> Get the point. Uh, we have a new uh, way to lower credit card bills. Hang on, let me tell you. Mr. Wada, they want to give you a cheap credit card. Cheap credit card? How cheap? Yeah. How cheap you are! <laughs> no, no, to lower credit card bills. <coughs> Hang on, let me tell him. They say lower credit card bills, they want maybe K, long time, short time, same thing. <laughs> tell them I'm not interested. 
interested. He said, fuck you. <laughs> but, but I really need...